we just published a paper in Science that addresses the side effect of an anti-cancer drug called CBT11, which is used to treat a lot of solid malignancies, uh, mostly colon cancer, but some uh, brain cancer and some lung cancer. Well, this drug's been around for like several years now. It's one of the top drugs used for especially colorectal cancers. Um, but the major drawback is um, the toxic side effects um, that are associated with massive dehydration and diarrhea. And essentially because of that, many of the patients have to stop dosage completely. So I did know somebody who suffered from this side effect, a colleague named Lisa Benkowski here in chemistry who got colon cancer a few years ago, uh, received CPT-11 and had this side effect. And she described it to me. And it was one of the reasons that we got interested in focusing our research in this direction. And I didn't tell Brett uh, about my, my former colleague uh, and, until we knew that it was going to work. Um, things were looking really good. Uh, you know, the data was coming in um, showing that we could stop the side effect. And so then I sat down with Brett and I said, well, let me tell you why we're working on this. Uh, and I was surprised to hear him say, well, let me tell you why I took this project. I had a really close friend, uh, Stacy Mickley, who passed away last year uh, from cancer. Uh, she was diagnosed with cancer uh, several years ago when she was Sex. So they treated her and she had these toxic side effects and they eventually had to stop her from taking these drugs because of them. And it was really effective. She was actually in remission for a while but then eventually the cancer came back sort of with a vengeance and uh, they just couldn't combat it anymore. I find the odds that two people uh, you know, coming together from different backgrounds would have had the same experience uh, with someone they knew and then having an opportunity to address uh, uh, that side effect that they had heard about. Uh, the chances of that I, I found uh, pretty surprisingly small, um, but it's really why uh, most people get into doing science is to try to help people. And so Brett and I were thrilled to be able to, to try to do something that may help future patients. I seriously I had no idea that he knew that he knew somebody who was going through the same thing before I was motivated motivated even more and now you know Matt I knew Matt was motivated from it too because I mean, this is what got him into it because he knew somebody, and, and now I knew somebody, which got me into it. And so it's like two people pretty focused on it. The personal interest did have an impact on the research. It caused us to really focus on this, and in talking with this colleague, I knew just how acute this side effect was. Uh, it's different when you read about it, um, and, and then when you talk to somebody, you really understand uh, what the people are going through and we made the decision to, to change our focus a little bit and to look at the side effect and uh, that had a big impact for us. The goal for this research was to try to come up with a clinical uh, uh, approach that would alleviate this side effect. So certainly in the long term uh, we'd like to come up with a new drug, a drug that's given with CPT-11 and with other drugs that cause this acute lower intestinal side effect uh, that would alleviate that toxicity and make those drugs more effective.